imagine? Okay, guys, if you'll follow me, right here we have the ugliest thing to ever walk the earth. If you want to go ahead and take a picture. So for today's video, you can see that we're going to be looking at the movie Paper Towns. And I wanted to do this movie because of the book. And if you read the book and you saw the movie, you know that there's some things that don't match up. And I haven't watched this film in a while, so I want to go back and see and talk about the things that don't match up. Also, Nat Wolf's interpretation of Quentin in the movie is what really saves the movie for me because he acts exactly like I would think Quentin did in the book, in the movie, if you know what I mean. So I feel like that's why I liked it more because he acted like his character. It turns out my miracle was different. Of all the houses and all the subdivisions in all the state of Florida, I wound up living across the street from Margot Roth Spiegelman. Like this right here, this is what I imagined when I read the book. So, so for me, this was okay. Like, yes. This is where they find the body, right? Yeah. Are you in? Sure. Great. Come on. Wait, what? His wife works at SeaWorld. I bet there's a clue. Margo, we can't go to SeaWorld. I love that they added SeaWorld into the movie, like, talk about it. But in the book, they actually went inside SeaWorld, but they didn't even show that. A lot changed in the years that followed. It wasn't just me. I mean, pretty much everyone recognized Margo was different. Let's take this back, okay? Did you see that? He saw her through the window, which means they are looking at each other like this. So why is her house in front of his, not beside his? You missed something there. You heard that correctly. Radar's parents were trying to get into the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest collection of black Santas in one house. There were over a thousand, and they were everywhere, and not just at Christmas. That's kind of like my collection with water bottles. I have so many water bottles in my room, it's not even funny. <laughs> not made up. Find real? I don't Gotta know. Gotta go. Hi. Hey. <gasps> She's the girl oh, from Sabrina the Teenage Witch, right? Hi, no, The Chilling Adventures oh, of Sabrina the Teenage Angela. Witch. That's what she's nice from. To you, huh. I swear, every time I do one of these, I find people from other shows that I like. I mean, duh, other actors are supposed to be in other movies, but... And forget the miracle ever happened. Like, do you see this? He... Her house is in the opposite side. then go to med school and become an oncologist and, you know obviously get married and have kids by like 30 and, and then you'll be happy i love his plan that's what i always thought i was like yes yeah, so i have to go to school keep going to school keep going to school become a lawyer do all these things and then i'll be happy because i'll have everything i want not realizing that i just want to do that to end up happy but none of it is making me happy i just got so deep but that's the truth marco this is a bad idea no quentin this is a tremendous idea this is a tremendous marco. idea marco. who would say that we're gonna get caught i can't we can't go inside can i just i'll be a lookout you can do it We bring the rain, not the scattered showers. We bring the rain, not the scattered showers. Bring the rain, not the scattered showers. Oh, duh. Oh my god. Oh my god, so late. If you're tired, we can go home. 
That is peer pressure, guys. Do not fall for that. I would still fall for it because why not? But don't fall for peer pressure. She is putting so much peer pressure on him and then she tells him stuff like that so she so he could do it you know I'm telling you man peer pressure sucks especially when you like the person that's making you making you peer pressuring you Especially when the person is peer pressure. Especially the person is who's peer pressuring you is the one you like. Imagine. Okay, guys, if you'll follow me right here, we have the ugliest thing to ever walk the earth. If you want to go ahead and take a picture. Peer pressure got the best of him. She's such a beautiful person. I mean, look at it. All this paper houses and paper streets. And, and the people, too. All her friends were being fake. This is why she's saying all of this. Well, she didn't get dumped. She got cheated on, but... It's almost the same thing. Maybe things would have been different if I'd hung out with you this whole time. Don't come chasing him now after you want excluded him from everything and wanted to be a popular person and now all that backfired on you because that's what happens when you have fake friends just to be seen. But he's actually the stupid one for falling for everything she's that's going on because it just makes him want her more what happens now like will things be different tomorrow i really hope so yeah because she's about to leave dude she used you for your car and that was all she just wanted someone to help her out with everything she was going to do. Calm down. And you were the closest person to her in her proximity with a car. <laughs> you saw the guy with the one eyebrow. It's funny how he knows what class she's in because we know that is uh, not his class and he Margaret went to, to that class right to see if she was there. The a creep. Or the next. Hello, Quentin. This is Detective Warren. Sounds like Margot's run away again. This is another thing. They added Detective Warren into this, but just these scenes. What do you know about it? Hmm? Me? Yeah. When was the last time you saw Margot? Uh. And in the book, he had more of a bigger role exactly what's happened she's bored she wants attention she'll come back when she runs out of money or when people stop talking about her so they bring in a detective they go to his house to talk about her but then her mom just says that she's not missing why would you bring someone in and all of this to then say that She's not missing. It was, two. it was a one. one. It was a one hit and a quit. It was a hit and quit it? Yeah. I hit that honey bunny. I told you guys this so many times. I don't want to go I hit it. that so honey bunny. Oh, oh, cousin's house, Juan. My cousin Dan is like, yo, Ben, we're going to party. I'm like, yo, what's up? Let's do it. <laughs> party. Tina comes over, looks at me. She's like, go upstairs. What is this? There's something in Margo's window. 
You see? Now they're look. Uh, I'm so confused by this movie because there you can tell that he's looking at across the street, like to the other side, not side to side, you know. But when she was jumping out of her room, you can tell that it was like side to side. I don't know. I think I was wrong. I'm sorry. I think I don't know. You sold yourself out. If my brother sees this and someone gives you $20 to come to my room, I am killing you. Killing you. I think she's sending you a message. What message? Come find me. And this is another thing right now. So they're gonna try to like find her, right? But in the book, it happens after graduation. Well, before graduation, after prom. Prom hasn't happened. Graduation is after prom. So they kind of messed up right there, but it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't have to be 100% exactly the same. There was like some things that were missing, the acting wise, um, specific um, moments in the book, stuff like that. But it's still kind of a good movie. Hopefully the second one is good because there's not a second Paper Towns book, so I want to see what they're going to add to it and like adapt and all that. <laughs> so it's not that, it's just I've never been in school before. I don't know, neither have I. Yeah, and it feels kind of wrong. I... You have to at least skip one day in your life. I only skipped, I think, about four times. It doesn't really count as skipping if the teacher knows you're skipping, but you're skipping. By the way, I was the Lutatorian in my high school, which is why I didn't skip as much as I should have. Because I thought school was the best thing ever and you had to do good in school to have a good job and do all of this bullshit. Am I the only one that gets nervous when they're driving with other people, especially people that you haven't normally driven with a lot? It's crazy to me how the way you vision a book in your head, or the way they write it in your head, is kind of the same way that you see it in some movies. And some of these parts is so... It's like exactly the same way I envision it in my head, and I'm just like... Which is why I love reading books before I watch a movie or reading books and then seeing that a movie is going to come out about it. Um, Nictionary. And this is another thing. In the book, it was um one of his friends who created the website, right? He launched it and he did all this, right? Here, they just show him going into it. He just goes into the website and they don't, they don't even talk about like his friend making the website or anything like that i don't know if they didn't want to add that in because it didn't really have much to do with the story but at least it would have created more of a story for the other characters about what they do and why they do it you know cute are you seriously gonna spend the rest of high school pining for a girl that ran away i'm not pining for her okay i'm trying to find her stop being an asshole she kind of doesn't want to be found so you are pining. You are pining. Why is there always the bad person in movies that has the freaking mansion? I ate this in under two seconds, I swear. I'm a fat ass. Uh, Margo hung something here. And I think it was a map. How does he even know she was the one that hung those things up there? Like, how does he know that it was her who hung those things up there? Like, anyone could have gone in there. Whoever that, whoever knew there was something in there would have gone in there and done that. I mean, she's the only person that knew about this place. So... 
Roscoe, Rockland, Beaverkill, Aglo, Chatham, Wallaceburg. These are all the towns in the vicinity. It's Aglo, because if you read the book, uh, you know, it's yeah. Aglo. Well, what? Aglo, New York. Aglo, New York, population zero, is one of the most famous paper towns in America. Look at this. Mm. Why are you doing this? So good. Oh, are so good. Don't say my name. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my God. keg stand record holder and now i am peeing the card champion ben. i'm the greatest i shook up the world oh. 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 <laughs> 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 It's crazy how he's the only one driving. Like, I would want someone to change with me while we get there because it's too much driving. His friend, the other guy, I forgot his name, he has a license because he was driving. So they could have switched on and off. Have you guys ever done that? Like, Ask for a ride somewhere like I would be so scared like first of all I'm a girl young alone I would never do that I I in my head I'll be like if they stop that's because they're either gonna rape me kill me throw me in a bush or something like that I do not care I can never do that nope she wanted to get out of Florida but then she ends up in another town that has nothing going for itself. You were better off in Florida. You left those clues for me, right? Yeah, I always leave clues. Yeah. I was okay. <sighs> Listen, he did it to himself. He did it to himself. me don't say that you don't even know me I told you it's gonna end bad wasted time gas people's time you could come with me you know but I have to go he's finally not feeling peer pressured by her Growth, 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 growth. Good job, Q. I make that last second shot. Oh, he knew how to drive too. So you see, you had two other people that could have drove. So this movie, honestly, it's good. It's okay. This is better than the movie, a hundred percent. And I will stick with that until I die because this book was amazing i finished it so fast because i didn't want to stop reading it but when it came to the movies like some parts i zoned out because i was in like into it and although they did have some things in common with the book not everything was exactly the same and what i had in mind was this not what they showed us like they did add like the aglo which was in the book and everything about that. They added like the main plot, which is to find her and then see her and then all of that. Like the ending is very, like not so different, but it is different compared to the book because she's just basically telling him that she didn't leave those clues for him to go find her and there was no reason for him to go looking for her. And it was just not the ending that I wanted to see based on what I read. But that's just my opinion and it was still good, you know, I keep going back and forth saying it's not as great, but then it's good. It's okay. My line still stands with the book, and always, but they are making a second one because Cara Delevingne posted this. And yeah, so I want to see how that's going to turn out. So I'm currently reading this book too, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, and honestly, love it. And I also started reading it too because of the movie that's going to come out based on this book let's see i'm also reading this one just in case you guys wanted to see um it's called harris apparently 
Harris, Harris, Harris. I said Harris. Harris, apparently. This is a great book. But yeah, hope you like this, I guess, commentary on the movie versus the book. Some of it. I didn't want to get into a lot of it because that would be a whole five hour long video anyways let me know what other movie you want me to do if you want me to see the fault in our stars i haven't watched that in a while um or what scary movie i should watch because i need to add that into the series i'm doing thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next video bye